this is, is an interesting time in the United States economy. It's very likely that we are in or about to get into a recession. And a recession means that the economy slows for more than two or three quarters, depending on how you measure it. And that means sales go down, prices go down, or revenue goes down, and income goes down. And usually the stock market goes down. And when that happens, in many cases, prices also go down. Because you know, if a company starts selling less things and making less money, a lot of times they'll lower their prices to try to get more sales. This is going to be very likely a scenario where there's a recession, but prices go up at the same time. Meaning that there's a recession, people get laid off from their jobs, they get cut back on their hours, they get their pay cut. Companies, small businesses have less revenue, less customers, less sales, less profits for their employees and for their managers. People who are on commission get less um, bonuses, even food service. You know, if you're in a restaurant, you get commission in the form of tips. All that goes down. What happens if that goes down, but at the same time, prices go up? More inflation happens. Gas prices go up more. Interest rates go up. Rent on apartments goes up. If that happens at the same time that incomes go down, that's going to be a double whammy. In fact, many people think that at the beginning of the pandemic in 2019 or 2020, that was the crisis point for the economy. Well, the government did a lot of activity to put stimulus money, to do a lot of things, you know, uh, PPP loans, EIDL loans, all these kind of things to try to prop up the economy. It could turn out that the real financial crisis for this decade is right now. 2022 and 23 incomes go down there's no more stimulus prices go up inflation goes up all at the same time if that happens sometimes it's called stagflation where you have a stagnant economy and inflation at the same time cute word it was invented in the 70s may be similar to what's happening now but not exactly the same the scary part is governments usually don't have a lot of control over it after it's happened. They had control over preventing it from happening. They may have control over the future after it works itself out, but there's no magic press a button, wave a magic wand to get the country out of stagflation or recession with inflation. So keep an eye on your budget. Put some comments below. Let us know what you think. Is your food budget going up? Is your gas budget going up and your income going down at the same time? And if it continues, what would you do to make it better?